Have you ever worked hard, sacrificed much to achieve something, only to discover when you finally got there that it was empty, hollow, not at all what you expected success to feel like? Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome again to Fresh. Now, I know that feeling really well, because for the first half of my life, I was intent on becoming rich and famous. I was well on the way, drove a fancy car, lived in a fancy house, was well respected in my chosen field. But the emptiness of all that success was excruciating. Looking back, it seems to me that the very definition of failure is to succeed at something that doesn't matter, which is the very point that Jesus makes in the parable of the rich fool. This man's land had produced so much that he had to knock down his silos and build bigger ones to store it all. Based on his amazing success, he concluded, as do many, I've saved enough for many years. Rest, eat, drink, and enjoy life. But God said to that man, foolish man, tonight you will die. So what about the things you prepared for yourself? Who will get those? This is how it'll be for anyone who saves things only for himself. To God, that person is not rich. Fool. He'd hoarded his wealth, yet had no idea that he was fresh out of time. There's a challenge in that for each one of us. How can I be more generous with my giving? How can I sow more into God's kingdom? Yeah, I know, they're tough questions. But Jesus makes it abundantly clear that the one who gets to the end with their bank balance largely intact ain't the winner. That's God's word, fresh for you today. And the very definition of love is to be abundantly generous in all things, in compassion, in how we spend our time, in all things. That's why I'd love to send you a free copy of our latest life application booklet. It's called Love Is. To request yours, stop by at ChristianityWorks.com and you'll see that free offer right there toward the top of the homepage. That web address again is ChristianityWorks.com.